Andrew Hem, Homer Bernal, and Joel Tube.
Greenwood, and I've known Lynn for the past 35 years of my life, and so we go back, way, we go way back. <laughs> um, when I think of my childhood, I, I, I had a really great childhood growing up. I have two older brothers and a younger sister, and when I think about my childhood and the memories that I have, there aren't a whole lot that don't include Lynn, and she's been a part of our family and our life for as long as we can remember, and it probably is our family that really makes her appreciate being an only child, because she was always <laughs> forced to be with young motos. but uh, it's been a lot of fun. Lynn and I have a lot of great memories together. Um, we both played on a uh, basketball team together. I know, we're so tall. And so, <laughs> we were power forwards, no, I'm just kidding. And, um, we, uh, we did that with our with the Japanese Community Center. We've done um, we were on drill team together, and we gosh, what else have we done? <laughs> we we created our own because we wanted to be sisters so bad. I mean, I already had an amazing sister, but we wanted to be sisters so bad. We created the Yama Twins, and so um, we we're, were really famous. So it's, um, I had it. We we did. We just had a lot of fun together. We used to sing songs and dance and, and hang out. I did write down a couple comments. I, my husband told me, don't read off of your phone. It looks weird, but I, I don't want to cry, and so I'll just read what I've written. <laughs> so anyways, um, um, we've done all kinds of things together. We've sung and danced and pretended we were crossing guards and bank tellers and college professors. And um, we've traveled lots of places together to far off and exotic places like San Diego and Big Bear <laughs> and Salt Lake City. And we went on a cruise to Mexico together. And we've spent countless of hours laughing, playing together, and, and obviously comparing who's taller. So even though we're all grown up now and we see each other a, a little bit less, and by the way, the verdict is in, I am taller. Am I not? <laughs> It never feels that, it, when we get back together, it never feels like any time has passed. And, I, and I'm grateful for Lynn for that. So I, I just wanted to thank, thank both of you for letting me be a part of your special day. And um, I just want to tell you that as you embark on this new chapter in your life, I only ask you, Edwin, that you take really good care of Lynn. Oh, sorry. I don't know. No, no. I'm going to hold it together. Um, <laughs> Take really good care of Lynn and take the time to create those special and lasting memories together because I know from a lifetime filled with them that one day you'll look back on all these moments that you shared together and you'll feel as lucky as I do that I've been able to sh have someone like Lynn by my side. So, best of luck to you. Check, check. Man, give it up for the new bride and groom. <laughs> All right, I want to make one thing clear. <laughs> I, um, I'm Adam's younger brother. <laughs> Everybody asks me, like, oh, I didn't like that your younger brother is getting married. I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> um, so, um, Adam and I, my relationship has kind of gone through a lot of different phases. We uh, were born as brothers, and then we became arch enemies, <laughs> and then we became friends. Um, but, you know, like when you grow up with an older sibling, like it's the job of the older sibling to just kind of irk the younger one on, right? <laughs> trying to make fun of them or tell them lies, right? <laughs> And a, a typical one is like, hey, you know, you know mom and dad like me more. <laughs> but Edwin, in like Dave Chappelle terms, he's like a habitual line stepper. Like he like steps over the line and he looks back at the line and he like steps on it, you know? Like he just goes way past it. So I'm gonna give you guys an example of what, what he's done to me. <laughs> Keep in mind, we were like, I was three years old when this happened, and Adam was six. And everyone knows Adam like the more, probably one of the most creative people in this room. You know, he was born an artist, but he was also born a very good liar. <laughs> <laughs> so, so one day, like my my brother and I are playing outside, and and, and he says, "Hey, Aaron," and I said, "What?" 
You know, we had an older brother, didn't we? You know, you know what happened? What? I came out, I'm three years old. I mean, this is catastrophic, you know? And, and he goes, yeah, his name was Andre. And then he, he drags me out to the driveway. And there's like this oil spot on the top. And he's like, yeah, that's where Andre died. And he was like, he melted in the sun. And I was three years old. I was flipping out, man. I was like going crazy. I was like, Mom, why did you tell me you had all your older brother, Andre? And my mom's like, what? <laughs> and I've never seen Adam run so fast in my life. He's like, dog. <laughs> so you're probably wondering, like, why am I telling you this story? I'm not trying to beat up Adam right now because it's not the forum for that. Um, but I've never let go of when I'm going to have my third sibling in the family. I never let go of that dream. And uh, I guess we're here today. And I, and I really, you know, I didn't really know when that was going to happen. I, and it wasn't the proposal. I mean, everybody says, oh, it was the proposal. Then you figure out you're going to have a sister. I'm like, no, no, it wasn't the proposal. Because it was actually like in February of last year, then I know you remember this. Uh, hopefully you remember. Um, it was powwow. It was Adam's first mural painting in Oahu. And I thought I couldn't miss this, so I flew out to help him paint it. And Lynn did not join us for that, but she wanted to come to Maui to spend the rest of the time we had in Hawaii. And th there was a point we went, we did so much stuff, and they were incredibly tired. And Lynn is known for her be able to sleep on command. She, it's amazing, like she can snap and she's out. So Adam takes a great pride in like, trying to wake her up sometimes. So there was a point where I see Adam just doing some really silly dances and and like all this other stuff just trying to wake her up. And me being the younger brother wanted to be like my older brother, I join in. And I, I see, and then, and then Lynn, you know, any normal person would be like, man, quit it, you know? But Lynn just wakes up and just starts laughing. And at that point, I was just, I just like, in my head, I was thinking, like, man, she's perfect. You know, like, that's my sister. And that was at that point, I was like, the, 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 she, he, he couldn't have picked a better person. You know, she, she fits in just right. So... Um, with that being said, I'd like to have a cheers to my big brother and my, and my new big sister. <laughs> cheers. Fine. Come by.
Cat's cradle going on there. Oh, look at that. It's kind of advanced. Michelle is the tooth fairy. She's also my dentist. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's like an installation. Sorry, ladies, I'm taking it. <laughs> 